When I was a child, my family told me that I had a problem. Uh, it's called the pollen syndrome and it affects my right uh, pec and my arm. So I don't have a uh, pec and I don't have an arm. So uh, when I started playing with toys, uh, my father uh, bought me a Lego Titanic. So I built it alone at the age of five. Uh, not exactly, but at the age of five. So. It was the first time I played with Legos. As a child, I was like uh, very nervous to be in front of other guys. Uh, because I was different but that didn't stop me believing in my dreams and I wanted to do what I was thinking about and it was uh, seeing myself in front of the mirror like I see other guys with uh, two hands so at the age of 18 last year I built this pr this prosthetic I call it the MK1 <laughs> People think that because you have no hand, you're different from the others, or if because you are fat, uh, you can't be your uh, you can be a friend. So, yeah, every time I go to a conference, I talk about this and I see cases of real uh, bullying in schools and I see guys uh, asking for help. And as I was telling, this is very heavy in my arm, but it's like 11 grams, so it's nothing to you but I can feel it a lot in my arm. This is the first prosthetic. I call it the MK1 because it looks like an Iron Man arm. And it's pure mechanical. I can move it like this. And I mean, it's very easy. It's a very easy mechanism. It's just like uh, two uh, um, like, uh, cords in here that tie when I close the arm and well this is a this is the simplest one I built <laughs> if I was born with two hands now I wouldn't be sitting here uh, telling you that I can help um, many other people with my problem or even if it's mental illness or something else um, because this, I would call it thing, but it's not a thing, but this thing um, helped me as well because I can understand how people feel when they feel bad about themselves. My main dream is to finish my uh, university, that's first. But then I would like to go somewhere 
uh, creating prosthetics for people that can't afford uh, a real prosthetic like it costs it's very expensive but I would try to give them a prosthetic even if it's for free um, to make them feel uh, like a normal person because what is normal right so like a normal person 